solve the following system of linear equations using matrices. 0.2x minus 0.8y is 0.3. 1.2y minus 0.5x is minus 0.2. I realize that the orderings of x and y are different in the two equations. So rearrange the second equation in such a way that the x term comes first, such as in the first equation. Therefore, I'll have 0.2x minus 0.8y is 0.3 and minus 0.5x plus 1.2y is minus 0.2. Now we can rewrite this as a matrix equation. The coefficient matrix, which includes the coefficients of x and y in the order they appear in the system, would be 0.2, minus 0.8, minus 0.5, and 1.2. The unknown vector would be x and y. This is equal to the known vector 0.3 and minus 0.2. Now, this equation looks like this. A, which is a known quantity, times x which is an unknown quantity, this x is different from the x and y appearing in the equation, let's say it's the capital X, is equal to b, which is a known quantity. So x is the unknown. If I multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of a, I would have a inverse a x is equal to a inverse b. I should be careful that I am multiplying A inverse into this equation from the left. I should not multiply the equation from the right. We know that the order of operations, in this case the order of multiplication, matters in matrices. Now A inverse times A is the identity matrix, which is I, times X would be a inverse B. But the identity matrix times any matrix would give us the same matrix. And this way we have isolated the unknown X. If I apply the same procedure, I can see that the unknown, that is the vector X and Y, will be the inverse of the coefficient matrix times 0.3 and minus 0.2. So I jumped from, let's say, equation 1 straight to equation 4. We can always do that. Now, if this inverse exists, we would have solutions. Otherwise, we would have two possibilities, either an infinite number of solutions or no solutions. Now let's find the inverse. The left hand side of the equation is the same. The right hand side becomes the inverse of the square matrix would be 1 over the determinant of A, which is the product of the diagonal elements 0.2 and 1.2 minus the product of the off-diagonal elements, which is minus 0.5 times minus 0.8 times. Now switch the position of the diagonal terms. So you would have 1.2 and 0.2 on the diagonal and change the sign of the off diagonal terms to the opposite sign. Minus 0.8 becomes 0.8 and 
minus 0.5 becomes 0.5 times 0.3 minus 0.2. In fact, what I have done in, is this. The inverse of the matrix A, B, C, D is 1 over the determinant of A times D and A on the diagonal and minus B and minus C of the diagonal. I have used this equation in the previous step. Let's go back to that step. X and Y, the vector X and Y becomes 1 over now the determinant of A which appears in the denominator of this fraction if you use our calculators we see is equal to minus 0.16 and the other two matrices could be multiplied and one would have 1.2 times 0.3 plus 0.8 times minus 0.2 and then 0.5 times 0.3 plus 0.2 times minus 0.2 we can simplify the result to 0.2 and 0.11 inside the matrix with the coefficient 1 divided by minus 0.16. Now we can multiply the coefficient and we would get minus 1.25 and minus 0.6875. In brief, this is what we have found. The unknowns x and y are equal to minus 1.25 and minus 0.6875 respectively.